Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the table tool, which can be found in the reporting category, which allows us to transform raw data into nicely formatted tables where we can customize the appearance and format and do fun things like conditional formatting. If you'd like to follow along with this video, we're taking a look at the sample canvas through the table tool. If you select the table tool and follow the blue open example link, you can play along with these examples and see the same data set. So here we're using the master store file provided by Alteryx in the sample data set. And the table tool will work with all data types except for spatial objects. So we won't see our two spatial object related fields in the field listing. First, we're going to take a look at creating a basic table with all of the default settings. Taking a look at the configuration panel of the table tool. First, we have the ability to group by, which we'll take a look at later. And in the bottom left corner of the table tool, we have a listing of all of our available fields. We also have the ability to change the default table settings and do conditional formatting with row and column rules. Now as we hit the run button, you'll notice that our 24 records of data have turned into one table field. And we can't actually view the table in the results window. And we need to add a browse tool to view the result. So here we're taking a look at a default table within Alteryx. And with the browse tool, we have the ability to pop it out into a new window, which is great if you're working with multiple monitors. Now we're going to take a look at the table tool and how we can use it to modify our column attributes. So again, we can group if we want to at the top. We're not going to do that yet. We can deselect fields if we don't want to bring all of our data through into a reporting snippet. We can add a prefix. We can add a suffix. We can add decimal places. When we work with finance professionals, they love this because they get so upset about not being able to add a dollar sign. You can also rename fields, also to have commas on their, um, on their numeric fields, their dollar fields. Um, we're always going to add our browse after we have a reporting tool so that we can look at that reporting snippet. Again, don't panic when your number of fields change. Now, everybody loves to copy and paste in Alteryx. It's one of the nice things where we can take those uh, tools that we've already formatted and uh, just make slight changes to them. So now we're going to go ahead and add a bar graph. So we'll just take our previous tool, check the bar graph box, and then we'll create a little bar graph based on total sales. So here by modifying the settings, we can specify the appearance of our bar graph. We'll keep most of the default settings and hit the run button once again and create the same table but this time we've got an easy to read bar graph helping us identify our outliers and one more copy and paste will let us check out one of the most powerful attributes of the table tool which allows us to group data based on one or many fields this is incredibly powerful when you're doing batch reporting and maybe you don't know how many regions or countries or states are present in the data set, but this function will allow you to create one reporting snippet for each. So in this case, we have two regions, north and south. I'll give you a quick preview of the report text tool and how we can dynamically insert above, below, or next to those tables. So here we can add some nice headers to our table. One last function we're going to highlight in this introductory video is the ability to conditionally format your rows based on a value. So here where total sales is greater than 450,000, we want to bold and highlight that row. So we can create a row rule. We have the ability to name it. And in this case, we want the formatting to take place only when total sales is greater than 450,000. And when that condition is true, we'd like to modify the font by bolding it, as well as the background color 
by adding a lovely shade of yellow as our highlight. We can close this down, hit the run button one more time, and take a look at our two tables. And voila. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.